Hi, Stampers. It's Christy with Stampin' Texas. I wanted to share with you today my digital studio. Now, I know many of you have downloaded the free trial version, and I just wanted to kind of take you through a little bit of MDS and how it's laid out. So this is just a basic introduction video. Um, and keep in mind, I know there are better ways to record this, but I thought I'd just try it with my um, iPhone and see how it turned out. Like I said, I know there's software programs out there that do the video screen capturing for me, but I haven't had a chance to get to those yet. So let's get started with my digital studio and let me show you what it looks like. Now, when you first open up MDS, this is the screen that you will see. There's all different product, um, product, all different project options. So you've got photo books and individual pages, cards and tags, journals are just kind of like eight and a half by 11 pages. You can make calendars. My favorite place are the templates because everything is done for you. I can just go in, add a little something special to either the cards or the scrapbook pages. But I love the fact that there are so many things to choose from and it's already done for you. And then custom is just basically you choose a custom size for your width and your height. Um, maybe you're wanting to duplicate a bunch of images to print out and punch out and put on a card. That's a very uh, quick way to make embellishments for your cards. So you can go to the custom area. Now, let me just show you, I'm gonna start with designer templates only to have a picture up on the screen, and then I'll kind of give you a layout of MDS. So I'm gonna click designer templates. I'm going to look at some greeting cards. Now you'll see there's all different kinds of, there's photo books, different sizes to look at. Um, I'm just gonna go to the greeting card section. Takes a few minutes few minutes, few seconds to load, but there are all different greeting cards. Now, if your MDS, if you don't have one of these cards displayed, that is probably because I have the full version of MDS, and recently Stampin' Up! has just uh, reduced the price from like $79.95 to $19.95. They really want to get this into more people's hands. And I think after you play with the trial version for a while, you will really want to get this because it has so many more embellishments and stamps and templates. Okay, so you'll see that there's just a ton to choose from. I love this thanks a million. So I'm going to select it, click next. And here there are just, if you want to add pages to it, um, do a different page arrangement. But I like it just the way it is, so I'm going to click next. This is for adding pictures, so if it's something that I want to add a picture to, I'm just going to leave it with the choice that says pick and click, insert photos individually. If you're working with a template like for a scrapbook album and you want it to automatically insert pictures from a certain file on your folder, you can do that and what's awesome is it will just figure out which uh, images go best where. So that's a really big time saver when doing a scrapbook. Okay, so I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to name this. I'm just going to do, actually I'll do Thank You Card Sample. All right, so now I'm going to click Finish. It takes just a little bit, and it is rendering the four different sections for this card. So, here is kind of the layout of the card, and let me just show you how MDS is laid out. On the left-hand side, you have a resource palette, and when you hover your mouse over the different options, it says click to access photos, click to access embellishments, stamps, that sort of thing. So you can access, um, let's see, we've got punches, papers, background papers, and photo layouts. So that's all on this left-hand side, and let's, let me show you, for example, if I wanted to pull up some embellishments, I click the embellishment button, and then I click browse. So now I'm looking at all these different categories of embellishments that I have. So I can just go through here and choose 
a an embellishment. And so if I want to look at all of these all at the same time, I'm going to click open. Then that shows me on the left hand side these embellishments I have and I can click and drag and drop those in. Now right now it's really tiny but you'll see those little uh, boxes around the image. I can change the size of that if I would like. But let me show you another way to accomplish the same thing. On the right hand side you have what's called the design center and you have the same choices on the right hand side as you do on the left hand side. So if I want to go get those embellishments I can click embellishments. I'm going to click add embellishment and then look there is the basic pearls and rhinestones. Now here's the difference. Whereas on the left hand side I get to see all of them like this and I click and drag them over what I want. On the right hand side if I use this side of my design center screen I'm going to insert them one at a time. So in other words, I click on the one I want and click apply. Now it may not look like anything has happened, but when I click close, there's the other one. So there's two different ways, well there's always probably more than just two ways to accomplish the same thing, but you get the idea. So it's really kind of up to you which you prefer. You can do the same thing with like a punch. So if I click on add a punch, I've got all these different shapes and sizes. So if I want to add a butterfly shape, I click it, click apply, click close. And now I know you can't really tell that butterfly because it's kind of white on white. So let's change the color. I'm going to look on the right hand side and we'll go to color fill. So in your design center you can change the images. Let's just make it pink just for fun. And there's my butterfly. Really cute. So you've got all sorts of different options with each of the punches and embellishments. This will do a mat. So if I wanted to mat it like that with black, I can do that. I can also uh, do a drop shadow. And it's just a matter of going in here, playing around with things and seeing what it looks like and seeing what you like. So that gave it just that shadowy effect so it looks like I've put it on there with dimensionals. But anyway, so like I said, this was just a basic overview. Um, it really is a great program. You just need to get in there and play with it. Try it out. You can't mess it up. And don't worry about if it doesn't turn out right the way you want it the first time. Keep trying it. Try something new. And be watching for more future videos from Christy. For more information and fun project ideas, be sure to check out stampintx.com. Thanks so much.